Hello, and welcome to Story Wars, where the greatest writers from around the world are gathering in the metaverse to tell true stories from their real lives. Please join me in welcoming international best-selling author playwright and all-around Twitter legend Lee Hall. Thank you. Um, okay, so I am the resident playwright for a local community theatre group. Um, this kind of came from just joining the group as an actor uh, back in the day when I wanted to tread the boards. And I kind of grew out of that eventually, then became a writer. I, I got into writing, got more confident with myself. And so I started writing plays for this drama group. Um, and so they had a big hiatus the last few years, of course. We all know what's going on in the world with um, the pandemic and stuff. So they decided to bring back their kind of shows and this April just gone, they did their first show in like three years. And I kind of got reeled in to doing the, the sound effects. I was basically working the sound booth for the show in this, this theater show. And with no real experience, but if you just hang around rehearsals, which I was doing just every now and then you kind of get reeled into things. And so I, kind of unwillingly volunteered and I work in a, a control room for a particle accelerator. So this, this wouldn't be a problem. This is fine. This is just pushing buttons, no high pressure here. Um, well, uh, we'll get to that bit, but there was three of us in this booth. There was like the lighting guy. There was me pushing buttons for sound effects and music and then there was the actual tech guy in charge like the, the guy that put it all together the microphones the the speakers all this elaborate setup that i still don't really understand and we're having some good rehearsals it's going quite well and he's a really nice guy he's been a mentor to me over many years he's a performer himself and he's quite well known and he's quite sheepish throughout the the rehearsal period he's quite standoffish and it turns out that he's not actually going to be at the shows he's just kind of here's the equipment lee can do that i'll tutorial him no problem oh boy <laughs> so show day comes do a sound check sold out audiences um, show day one is two shows you have a matinee show and then an evening show let's do this i think i'm ready i've the lighting guy next to me he's a debutant as well like me the, the director behind me is also her, it's her first show. Lights go down, packed out house, opening music interlude begins, and it's quiet. It's like deadly quiet, like suspiciously quiet. And it's sort of like playing out of one speaker, basically, this music. And it's like someone is just holding a cell phone in the audience and is playing a song from YouTube. That's what it sounded like. And I'm slowly sweating and my heart starts beating really quickly and now I'm I'm worrying and I'm maximizing the volume on my laptop and it's and there's pushing buttons and nothing's working and people are panicking I'm panicking my dad is in the audience and we need a good show here we haven't done one in three years we need to pay the bills and yeah we are deer in the headlights this is like Houston we have a major problem and then the opening number then plays and it's still the same the music's really like really quiet and there's only a, one speaker at the back of the stage on it's just for the performers to look, have their cues and stuff when they're dancing and they know what's going on and now that song's finished and it kind of works quite well for a somber opening song it's this the show was rapunzel so she's trapped in a tower and it was all quite somber but the next song is a big opening happy dance number and it's playing through one tiny speaker at the back and it just yeah happy it wasn't um big it wasn't I, I felt so bad for these performers I mean I've written the show as well and that now there's like mud on my, I'm never going to get asked back again and the embarrassment the pressure the horror I could just feel myself just sinking and blushing and eventually lots of running around people coming back and forth for the sound booth a stagehand points out that the laptop this tech guy had left us two of the speaker systems were just on mute and so it was the answers were right there. And yeah, it was just hugely embarrassing and yeah, cringe like Kelsey story, but it was just a disaster. And we broke then for lunch, come back for the next show, did a sound check, all fine. And I'll just leave it with this. 
that laptop that he'd left us 20 minutes before curtain up for the second show started to update itself and then logged itself out. And that the, what happened afterwards is probably a story for another time. <laughs> um, part, probably the punchline is I'm directing their next show. Um, 